We, we, we talk about the dogs who are like members of our family, and, and a lot of times they act like they are as well. We've seen studies that show very intense emotional reactions in dogs when they see their owners. And now science is showing us how they also get jealous. You heard right, I'm talking about jealousy. And one of our resident dog lovers, Joel Waldman, has more on this from the Upper West Side. Joel, I can understand, I mean, I'm a big dog fan and I've seen some of this going on out there. Tell us more. Ernie, you know that I love my beloved Mabel Rose more than anything, and the killer, who's, I married into that dog, but I love the killer. But look who I found here. I found Baxter, and when I dragged him away for this live shot, wasn't too happy about it. His owner got jealous of him using Baxter over here for the shot and taking him away, but it turns out that Baxter himself can get jealous over things as well. Jealousy as a human trait, what do you think of it? I think you have to work on it. I don't know why you, what are you jealous of? I don't well, me, know. a lot of things. Oh. And it turns out I'm not the only one with this problem. I have my arm around you. I approach you about the interview, and I thought that Baxter might try to castrate me at one moment. He got very no. jealous. No, well, no, no, no. He, he's not aggressive in any manner. Gerard, perhaps in denial about his beloved Baxter, and who can blame him? Lisa might have the same issue with her pups. I don't want to get too graphic, but let's say I leaned over and gave you a big smooch on your face. Would any of your dogs get defensive or jealous and try to attack me? Not attack, no, but maybe interested. Monkey might, you're touching her, what are you doing? Be interested, sticking his nose in, possibly snorting like, hey, hey, what's going on here? What's going on? According to researchers at the University of California, San Diego, it's simple. Dogs get jealous. But I would say the average pet owner knows that their animals oftentimes exhibit behaviors that indicate that they have concern when another animal is getting something they're not getting, i.e. jealousy. Dog behavior expert Andrea Arden says she's not at all surprised by the UCSD study. Researchers there videotaped 36 dogs reacting to their owners ignoring them, instead favoring inanimate objects including a stuffed dog and a plastic jack-o'-lantern. It turns out more than 75% of the real-life dogs got most upset when the owners interacted with the stuffed animals, much less so when it was just a jack-o'-lantern. Now, Ernie, I might actually try to steal Baxter here, but I think his owner will absolutely get jealous of that, and Baxter will probably get jealous that I took him, you know. But uh, I'll tell you, Ernie, one thing about this study yeah. that I found so intriguing, which is a little graphic, but it's interesting, is that it turned out that even with the fake dogs, yes. the real dogs went up and then snipped their behinds. It shows you how smart these animals are. They didn't do it with the other inanimate objects, but with the stuffed animals, they went Joel, up and actually sniffed them to see if they were real, and it's you amazing know, to me. It's so funny that you would say that, because we have a sheepdog at home. It's a, it's a, it's a, a puppet, really, you know? It's, it looks beautiful. And, and when, the, when the dog comes over, when our son brings his dog over, that's what happens. Uh, she ends up going over there and fighting with it and so forth. I think it's all about attention, too, isn't it? They love attention. You know what, Ernie? You know I just had a beautiful baby girl. And yes. One of my puppies, she just won't leave my side now, and <laughs> she gets she gets a little jealous. So it's an ongoing battle. But you know what? That's what makes dogs, especially Baxter. Exactly. Such great creatures, right? They're great dogs. Take care of Baxter and your and your baby and your whole family. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Joel. Ernie.